as soon as that says just like that when it says live. Hey, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning. Today, we're talking about why things happen to you instead of why things happen for you. That's something that resonates with you. Stick around. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey, everybody. Good morning and welcome my name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Look, when you get here, do what Jessica has done already. Whether you're watching on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or listening later on your favorite podcast catcher, doesn't matter. Head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so that you can hop on the video, uh, leave a comment, say hi, say good morning. Love, love, love hearing from everybody that uh, watchings, watchings. I almost got through a whole minute of the show. Watches, listens to the show, whatever the case may be. Love hearing from you guys. If you have a question or comment on today's topic, last week's topics, or something you'd like for me to cover, be sure and leave those as well. Today, however, we are talking about why things happen to you instead of why things happen for you. Have you ever thought about that? <clears throat> or maybe... Maybe you don't think about it that way, but you think about, <clears throat> man, why can't things just go my way? Or maybe you feel overwhelmed, inundated with stuff, whether you own the business or whether you're working for somebody else. I mean, this this happens all the time, right? Got a great picture coming up on Instagram later today of a guy sitting at his desk, just papers piled up all around him. Man, just nothing that I'm doing is getting me ahead. You ever felt that way? That everything is happening to you. It's completely out of your control. Really easy to feel that way when you work for somebody else. Um, you know, maybe you don't agree with the decisions they're making. Maybe there's something else you'd rather be doing. I, I actually had a great discussion this morning with a, um, uh, a person from Reddit and that's one of the great things about Reddit. You don't really know whether it's, you know, how they like to be addressed. It's just a person. It's a person from Reddit. And uh, we're talking about how when they, when they went to college, they got a degree in a particular degree field, tried really hard to find two or three different ways to work in that degree field, but none of them really fit. And once they made, you know, this... And, and they were getting, getting in a really bad spot, really bad place and getting in their head thinking about it too much. And, you know, why is this happening? Why won't anybody do things the way I think they should be done? Why can't, why won't anybody give me a job? Everything was why, why, why? And then they changed the question to what? And this is why things happen to you instead of why things happen for you because you're asking the question why? When you change that question and ask the question, what, as in, what can I do to change these circumstances? Now you've taken the big step. And <clears throat> there's a whole lot of this uh, going on down in the comments in the discussion uh, around this post. You have to take responsibility for the outcome. Look, a lot of people want to f want to find someone else to say, they're not giving me the opportunities. They won't let me do the job the way I want to. They, 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 they. Right? And here's the, here's the part that's, that's really insidious about that. Once you, once you abdicate and say that person is responsible for my unhappiness, then you also have to accept the fact that they are happy for, that they are responsible for your happiness. And me personally, I'm not willing to abdicate that. I'm not willing to give that kind of power to somebody else. So I ask the question, instead of why isn't this working out, I ask the question, what can I do to change the circumstances? Once you do that, you've taken the, you've put the choice back on you. You're not waiting for someone else to tell you how to feel better. Hey, Zach, man, good to see you. Um, 
you're not waiting for someone else to tell you or, or give you the opportunity to feel better. You've taken control of that back in, in, into your own hands. And now you have a choice. You have the chance to make the choices that are going to point you toward that guidestone. So, uh, do be sure and read the posts, the comments that go here. If you, if you're watching on Instagram, they're on quote of the day, tomrigsby.com slash Q O T D quote of the day. It'll be up there in a little bit anyway. Um, as soon as this is over. <laughs> um, but there's three steps in there, right? And this, uh, you can find this over on the other website, seven minutes in the morning.com. Three steps for you to take to, to get control back for you to, to have life, to have your business working for you instead of working to you, doing things to you. One is you got to be really clear. First step, be really clear on the outcome you're trying to create. Two, decide on one thing you can do today to reorient yourself toward that outcome. Very often, that's what holds us back is we've lost sight of that outcome. We've deviated from that. We need to get that back in our sights. And then three is the one that everybody wants to go to first, and then they get stuck there. Figure out the, the pivotal decision point that got you off track. Not so you can go back and blame it, but so you can recognize it the next time it happens and make a different choice. I make the analogy of it's kind of like driving you make a wrong turn. It's not that you want to blame somebody, something, anything for making the wrong turn. You just want to recognize that this is where I made the wrong turn. So next time you come through here, you don't do the same thing. Wind up lost again. All right. All right. A little bit long today, but hopefully that was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate it tremendously if you would give the old video likes, hearts, thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching and participating. And if, and only if you got value from it, you know, someone else who could take, uh, who could derive benefit from it, share it with them as well. Maybe your whole network that would be much appreciated as well. All right. That's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah. There are comments there, Joe. You just got to find them. (laughs) Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you guys have a magnificent Monday. Take care.